Here we are at Ramp Racing Season 7 for the All-Star Race. Last time, we saw I'm a 48 Bowman fan win with a new car. He's using a different one this time, but it's still a fast one. And he's racing against all the greatest drivers this season. But the ones who weren't as great made it into the All-Star Open. And they are fighting for spots to get into the All-Star Race, which is what the empty spaces are for. So, basically... We did a couple fan votes, and the votes are in, meaning that NASCAR and Dogs is in the All-Star Race, as well as Fan 9 making it into the All-Star Open over the bottom four. And lastly, Nedums24 will make a one-off appearance, and his car's different now. Instead of the 35 car, he's now the 53 for this race. It's a new Petty 75th anniversary car. The first and probably only time we're going to see one of these on the track in this season. So, all right, you can see the starting lineups here, and we'll get into the race up next. Okay, we're here at the track. Let it, let's do this all-star race and see who will come out victorious with some bonus points. So, okay, let's get to it. In the first race, we have the 22 car of Lajeune's Amazing Cars and NASCAR 73. Number 16 of NASCAR HMS Fan. The number 9 of WL Yacht 9. The number 8 of Hunter Sports Productions. And the number 11 of Reddit Biffle. Let's begin the All Star Open. <laughs> Reddit Biffle is going to advance into the All-Star Race. Good performance for him. Double Elliot 9 did well, but did not advance. And that number 11 has advanced. Looks like Najee's Amazing Cars and NASCAR and Hunter Sports Production struggled this time. So Reddit Biffle has qualified for the All-Star Race. Up next, we have the number 78. That would be the 78 car of the 24 year. The number 10 of Crazy Dallas. The 51 of Jennifer Moores, the number 53 of the fan vote winner, Nedums24, and the 38 of NASCAR fan. NASCAR fan got the jump, but Nedums24 pulls away, easily wins. That's a fast car. Nedums is going to advance into the All-Star race. Next race, the 19 of Kenneth Ratchwalski, the 16 of NFCS Racing Network, the 13 of Kayden Smart, the 66 of Phantom Track, and the 7 of Philip. And Philip is going to advance. The 7 car is going to make it into the All Star race. Kenneth Ratchwalski and Kayden Smart sure got close. But Philip is going to make it. Not a good performance for NFCS Racing Network. Final race before the All Star race. We have the 50 of Mr. Turbo Lover, the 45 of British Ball 2024. The 20 of Shahir Bien, the 2 of Fan 9, the 71 of Michigan Rail Fanner. Easy win for Michigan Rail Fanner. He easily advances. Great performance. He was on the fan vote. He didn't get that many votes, but he's gonna be in the All Star race regardless with that win. Nobody else did that well at all. Fan 
Nine did win one of the fan votes, but didn't make it that far in this race. Shahir the end, well, not a great performance, but luckily he won't lose any points or positions because of this race, since only the winner will earn points. So that's it for the All-Star Open. We'll see what will happen in the upcoming All-Star Race. We'll see who will advance and make the finals. I'm excited to see who will win. Okay, we're ready to start the All-Star Race. I'm excited to see who will win. So we've got the first group going now. The 24 of Racer Knight 99 the second. The 47 of Awesome Max TA. The 17 of Adam the Noah Gragson Fan Cannon 48. The 33 of Sudrian Comrade. And the 54 of NASCAR View. Let's start the All-Star Race. Oh, bad start for the 24, and it's a close finish. Sadrian Comrade is in the, uh, into the finals. Sadrian Comrade advances, barely beating NASCAR dude. Racer Knight had a slow start, but caught up. A Sadrian Comrade will make it into the finals. Up next. Yeah. Sadrian Comrade's in the finals, but he's now known by the name of Envy Racing Productions. Just should have said that. So, Envy Racing Productions in the finals. Up next. The 99 of Kick Skylander Gamer YT. The 14. That would be the 14 card of Chase Briscoe Fan 14. The number one of NASCAR Fan 05, the 23 of Gravester, and the 84 of Dilo the Noob. Wow, close finish again. Dilo the Noob could have had it, but Gravester's in the finals. Gravester has been very fast this season and has been a threat to win ever since the first race. Not a good showing from Chase Briscoe Fan 14, unfortunately. That 14 car was way off the pace. Hopefully he does better next time, but he won't be winning the All-Star Race. He usually does well in this race, not this time. Up next, we have the number 4 of Chase and Trax, the 31 of the Airborne number 2, the 5 car. That is our Alamo, the 15 of Shane Mayer fan, and the 7 of Philip. And the airborne number 3 will advance to the finals, beating out Philip. Philip did quite good. Shane Mayer fan also did great. Shane Mayer fan is candidate for Rookie of the Year. Next up, it is the 53 of Nadam's 24, the 42 of Trackmaster 98, the 6 of Matthew White, the 43 of Kirby Tanks on Game Productions 39, and the 48 of I'm a 48 Bowman fan. Trackmaster 98 is in the finals. Nadam's 24 put up a fight, but Nadam's 24 will not be doing what Caden Smart did last season. Nedham still did well. That car was a, probably an upgrade over whatever he could have run. Because he was originally supposed to be in the 35, but got switched to the 53. Final race before the finals. We have 34, Rene Hernandez. The 11, Reddick Biffle. The number 12 of Gibby the Duke. The 41 of NASCAR and Dogs. And the 71 of Michigan Rail Fanner. Let's see who will win. Oh wow! Reddit Biffle from the fan vote is into the finals. Reddit Biffle trying to get these points. He needs them as he has not had an eventful season. NASCAR and Dogs and Gibby the Dude struggled. Michigan Rail Fan are not half bad.
So now we're in the finals. Let's see who's going to get these bonus points. We have the 23 of Brady Star, the 33 of Sadia, the 33 of NV Racing Production, the 42 of Trackmaster 98, the 31 of the Airborne number 3, and the 11 of Reddick Bipple. Let's see who is the winner of the Rank Racing Season 7 All-Star Race. <laughs> Trackmaster 98 wins again! Trackmaster 98 earns the bonus points and is now in contention! Great finish! The 42 is the winner! Trackmaster 98, second career victory! He pulled off the upset back in Season 4, but now he wins the All-Star Race and will earn some bonus points! That is great finish for him! That 42 had a great race! I was not sure if he was going to advance until I saw what actually happened in when we did the All-Star Race. He was, I'm not even sure if he was that much of a favorite to win. He was in the top 10 overall, but he's the winner. 42 wins. Trackmaster 98. Time for his victory lap. Yep. Going to do another victory lap up here. Well, yep, so Trackmaster 98 is the winner. We will move on to the podium. Here we are at the Ramp Racing Podium to discuss your top finishers. Your winner is Trackmaster 98. He pulled off an unexpected victory today. He has had a great season so far, really good season, and good enough to get him into the All-Star Race where he wins it. This car is good and he gets his second career victory and some bonus points to boost him in the standings. Second place, the Airborne number three does not disappoint. After last race where he did, where he had a bad finish, he's going to do well again. Third place is Envy Racing Productions. He won race one earlier this season and gets another podium finish in the All-Star race. Got so close to doing a great win, but Unfortunately, comes up third, which means, unfortunately, he won't get any points, but he'll stay at the top of the standings. Fourth place is Bradyster. Bradyster has come out of nowhere this season, as he's really shown off how good he is in the series. He's fast. Another top five for him. Fifth is Reddick Biffle. Reddick Biffle has struggled this season. He has not had any top tens. Until now, fifth place is fairly solid. Excited to see more from him in the rest of the season. So you'll move on to race 6. And race 6 is not going to be coming out for a while. I'll just say that. So race 6, we'll see when it comes out. But hopefully you all enjoyed this great race with Trackmaster 98 coming out on top.